Twelve miles upstream along the Thames from central London is the famous Royal Palace of Hampton Court. The site is always associated with the Tudor King Henry VIII, but it was his chief minister, Cardinal Wolsey, who set the palace in motion. Under Henry, Wolsey acquired a vast wealth and set about constructing a property that would rival the king's own palaces with facilities to host, network and entertain. But Wolsey's failure to persuade the Pope to grant Henry a divorce saw him fall from grace in spectacular style. In desperation, he offered Hampton Court to Henry and it became the principal residence of the monarch for the best part of 200 years. From the west side, you can see the lavish Tudor palace that Wolsey and Henry created. But from the south and east, you can see a quite different Hampton Court. In the 17th century, this was to be Britain's answer to the immense Palace of Versailles in Paris. A fabulous mixture of red brick and white Portland stone that would see the original palace replaced section by section. The work was never completed, which has left Hampton Court as a fascinating palace of two halves.